Chennai has been the intellectual capital of South India, certainly, and perhaps one of the leadership centers in India. We thought, given the time where Chennai is now, it's time again to bring a wave of intellectual energy into this city. For this, the best way is to create a gym. No, not really a gym, perhaps a spa for the mind and for the soul. A place where leaders can come and share their thoughts, what inspired them, what is their vision of what they want to do with young minds and older minds in the city of Chennai. Thus was born CIC with the idea to inspire, intellectually stimulate and hopefully turn into action the power of the youth and of the people of this city. I'd like to think that we live in an information age. There's a whole lot of information out there. If it's not properly channelized, we, we have problems. But if properly channelized, it contributes to understanding and contributes to, I feel, a greater, a greater degree of thought, in, 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 uh, thought and other ideas. So if you have a policy think tank like what the CIC is, which has no particular bias of any kind and is looking at problems from all sides and has a very eclectic number of um, uh, set of members who form part of it, I think you have an ideal uh, situation in which the masters of information that are available can lead on to greater degree of understanding and knowledge. More than anything else, if you style yourself as the intellectual capital of, of India, you need a body of people who have no vested interests of any kind, but a wide degree of experience. I have gone through a lot and, have, and wish to make a contribution to improving the nature of the Senate. Germinate ideas, come up with new concepts. I think you require a policy think tank. I think the CIC fulfills every little bit of this. I've seen it performing over the last two years, and I think it does this brilliantly. We have had artists coming and speaking to us. We have had authors coming and speaking to us. We have had sportspersons coming and speaking to us. We have had political leaders coming and speaking to us. We have had bureaucrats coming and speaking to us. These interactions have enabled in fleshing out and getting deeper into these subjects with a view to understand the fundamental paradigm in some of these areas a lot better. I'm certain in course of time, with more such events happening, the Chennai International Center will provide thought leadership to the city on a number of areas with a view to uplift the overall intellectual heft of the city. At CIC, the programs are extremely well curated. You have very high quality of speakers, panelists, who, who are oftentimes you know, policy influencers, decision makers, coming from different industries. But I think, for me, what sets this apart is the, the way the program gets structured. It, it's almost like, like you know, a round table, where you have your panelists who are setting forth their premise and their presentation. And as an audience, you get drawn into the subject from, because you come from diverse backgrounds, and you have an understanding of this and you want to take to really take back something from this as also you want to leave your thoughts in the mind of the panelist hoping that you know that's going to influence them in some way when they go back now i think it's very critical because you're interacting with the relevant people who are making policies and you know decisions so in that sense you know i i really think cic is very different from any of the forums uh, that i've been part of I'm really excited about the journey that the CIC has taken for the past two years. The uh, list of speakers have been amazing and the opportunity to interact with these intellectuals has been really, really interesting. I understand that a physical building is being planned for the CIC and I think Chennai really needs such a place where the intellectuals of the city can come together. I wish the CIC the very best. Envisioning an organization like CIC is no small dream. Our goal was to bring together the brightest of minds from this city and create an eclectic group which focuses on impacting our society. Our start with 250 members has been fabulous and it is still growing. 
If you want to make a difference to Chennai, then CIC is the place. If you want to know more, please attend one of our events. You will listen to the brightest of minds and interact with very inspiring people. I look forward to seeing you at the next event. I would welcome all people who are inspired into action by the intellect to come and be part of CIC. Come become a member, come help us with selecting who should come and inspire us in the future. As we go on this roadmap, it's our goal to create a thought center, a virtual center of today into actually a physical center where people can congregate, where people can ideate and of course people can plan how to take those ideas into making Chennai what it can be the Singara Chennai, the Singara city of South India.